in these two boxes is a year's worth of work. My 2023 calendars have arrived from the printers. Let's crack them open. No matter how many times, how many years I do these calendars, it's still exciting that very first time getting to see the photographs no longer just on the computer screen, but uh, printed. And to be able to share them with you, even more special. So, um, bear with my crazy video skills while I uh, open them one handed and film with the other. This is definitely one of those times where it'd be good if I had uh, it set up or someone to hold the camera, but woohoo! They do come well, well packaged. And there's one, two, three, lots of twelve. And in this box, there should be another three, lots of twelve. Which box has the Four Seasons in it? Which one has the Master Collection? And which one has the Mark Nelly Farmer Calendars? Which is part of the mystery. Look at that. Four season spring. Beautiful. Beautiful stunning tulips from Ballarat, Victoria, Australia. And there's a signet. Some uh, blossom flowers with a bee in it. It's a bit harder to see on the small one, but we'll show you the bigger one. Uh, a koala in a tree from Raymond Island. A rainbow lorikeet, butterfly, I love that photo, just a single flower floating in the water. Echidna, kookaburra, seeing a bird in its flight so much more uh, majestic than uh, just seeing it sitting in a tree. Tulips, kangaroo with a joey in its pouch and a gorgeous sunset. And if you want one, there's the website, they just hit me up directly. That's uh, spring for 2023. Let's see what else is in this box. Oi! Oh, winter. And autumn. Let's try and do these in order. So in this box. There's a master collection. There's the marshmallow farmer. Here we have summer with a couple of rainbow lorikeets on the front cover. Limited edition of 12 for each season. Grab them quick if you haven't already pre ordered one like some have. Beautiful sunrise for January. Some rocks on the beach with a uh, very special one. Can you see it? Uh, one of my favourite birds for March. Absolute favourite. I love those guys. April, another signet. Yep. Anything better than the koala? Little baby one. Again, a lot more than needs to be said. Flame duck. Another kookaburra. Another adorable koala. Yep. Same bird. Took, I don't know, 100 photos that day. I can't remember. I selected two for you. Another iconic Australian bird. There's another one. And uh, two birds in that one. Okay, ladies, gentlemen. 
beautiful sunset. Summer, Four Seasons, 2023. Grab them while you can. Uh, winter's last. Autumn comes after summer. There we go. Northern Kookaburra on the front cover. 2023 calendar, limited edition of 12. Kick off the year with a bird on the wire. Hard to capture, they fly away. It's, you get too close. Too close, sorry, it's like two metres. Another joey in a kangaroo's pouch. Another beautiful Australian bird for March and April. Love the sound of the uh, magpie. If you haven't heard one, check them out online. May. Alala. Sharing my favourite image. So simple, two birds side by side. Yep, close up. August, some more Australian wildlife as we do with September. A little dancing rainbow lorikeet taking off from the water. There we go, just some simple leaves. How beautiful. And uh, I've shot this one a few years running now. Check out previous years if you want to see what it looks like at the different times of year with different water conditions. 2023 autumn, that's where you get them. And uh, yep, this year again, supporting the Sanghai Foundation. She did that last year, but also this year adding in the Hungry Children Foundation. Two causes close to my heart, run by people I personally know, so uh, love them. And uh, this calendar, very, very special one. Um, four Seasons Winter, edition of 12 again, all drone photos, my very first drone photos, and uh, shot and produced in memory of Mark Thompson, who uh, sadly is no longer with us, but uh, had a big impact on my writing life. Um, check out any of my last few articles from the last few years, and um, they all got submitted to him, but uh, no more. So, uh, drone photos, January, February, March, April, time that one right, we saw the hang glider take off, um, all taken during the road trip to his memorial service, there's Mays, not every day you see a push bike on the old railway line. Very high up view of birds on the uh, waterfront, a whole flock of them. There's actually two. There's uh, pelicans there and then the seagulls over here. Easy to see once you open the calendar up. Um, drove past that one almost before seeing it and had to go back and check it out. Thankfully, he's able to take some photos. And uh, August aerial shot, you probably wouldn't see just walking along the track along the cliff edge. It's kind of one of those things that you have to see by air. An iconic sight from Newcastle, the bars at the edge of the ocean. A blue tree. Why is that one painted a blue? I don't know. If you know, let me know. And I love that one too. Just so many textures with the sand and the rocks and the water. And a uh, beautiful peaceful run. Again, sand, rocks and water, but uh, two very different shots. So that's Four Seasons Winter. Is there any questions? Contact me and let me know. All right, let's continue this unboxing with. Oh, it takes me forever. Running out of room here. The stack's getting a bit high. All right. A year in the life of a marshmallow farmer. Edition of 12, look at that, if you've never seen a marshmallow farm before, now you have. And uh, these are all shot in the same road that I've nicknamed Marshmallow Farmer Road in Gippsland, Victoria, Australia. Last year I shot it with my Sony A7R3, this year I shot it with my friend's drone that I had borrowed. So all the drone photo, all the uh, photos in this year's Marshmallow Farmer calendar, although most of them are in the, the same 
location. Obviously, the, the marshmallows uh, change each year as to where they're situated. And um, hopefully, next time you go on a road trip, you'll see some marshmallows and your road trip will be that little bit much more enjoyable. And uh, if you're traveling with someone else, point them out. Share the marshmallow love. There we go. 12 months of marshmallow farmers, if you want one. Let me know. I ship around the world. Obviously, shipping is uh, sadly these days costs as much as it does overseas for um, almost the calendars do. But locally, still not too bad. So the master collection, the final one. Pelicans flying high above. Look at them all. They look a lot smaller when they're way up, but. Uh, they are a majestic bird in flight. Obviously, these ones aren't for sale. If you get one of these, I'm very grateful for uh, you sharing the last 12 months of your life with me. And of course, there is only 12, so there's more than 12 people that I'm grateful for. Don't think if you don't get one, I'm not grateful. January, we've got some ducklings. February, another water shot. It's actually the same as in the earlier calendar. It's just taken with a slightly different setting and a slightly different sun. Oops. Where are we? There we go. Compare the two side by side. Vastly different, just depending on how I, uh, how I shot it. Same flower, same location. Alright, another Adorable echidna. It's nothing better than a photo bomb photo. In nature, a natural one rather than a uh, created one. Kookaburra, rainbow lorikeet, just scratching himself on the tree branch there. They're cute and cuddly, but look at those teeth. Okay, you can't see them in a small photo, but check it out at a big one. Yeah, the cygnets have teeth too. Pelican landing. You've actually got three birds in that one. In this one, in the full photo inside is a bit better, but it was almost cropped out in the small one. But uh, one bird there, pelican there, and another bird there. It's a trio of them. Uh, Joey in the kangaroo's pouch. Yep, we've seen that bird before. And a gorgeous sunset to round it out. So that is my 2023 collection. Hope you enjoy them. If you want a wall size print or an NFT, let me know. Otherwise, enjoy the calendars for yourself or for someone else.